What's up, everyone? This is volume 46. It's your boy, Angelus. And um, I feel like you were saving that for a week. And you were just like, I was saving it for the last five minutes. <laughs> That's long yeah. enough. <laughs> it's your boy. Uh, it's just me. <laughs> it's just me. Yeah, that boy K. Yeah. That boy K. bollocks. <laughs> that boy was up five. Yeah. Hey, I mean, at least I went <laughs> sleep, you know. Sleep That's true. All. Fast recovery, though. Fast was recovery. it, though? I definitely was. I mean, no, it was like a turnaround no. of like five minutes when I actually woke up. But nonetheless. Yeah, but you had to take the amount of time you slept. Oh, that's true. It was like a half hour, but it's it's fine. <laughs> I'm sure you were productive during the time. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Jabs, jabs, jabs. You love it. Yeah. Um, of course not. <laughs> My unproductivity <laughs> is productive. So, yeah. Hyper productive. Anyways, um, <laughs> This is volume 46. 46. Yep. That's wild. Um, coming up on 50. Coming up on 50 in a month. Yes. Wow, that's a long time. It really is, though. <laughs> like, all things considered. Yeah. But um, I don't know. The weeks have been going, though. I feel like we just definitely. did a cast. I was like, oh, man, I got to edit again. No, <laughs> I'm joking. I mean, oh, it's not that bad. At least I'm not in there like doing a thousand edits. Like people, oh, we can't have any silent space. It's like, dude, what, like what kind of person talks in a perfect stream other than Joe Rogan and can, you know, just keep spitting stuff out? It's like, no. And the silent space, I don't know. They always make those memes about, you know, where it's like, uh, like you listening to, to a podcast and it's like the two people in a cloud and then you just sitting in the chair between them. Like, ah, oh. <laughs> cause you feel like you're part of the conversation, but if it's unnatural, I feel like it takes away from it. Then it's just like, oh, you can tell that it's edited and, you know, there's no way that he just skipped from that word to this one with that amount of space. And right. I don't know, maybe people don't realize, but. Yeah, I think it's, I almost want to say it's a waste of time. Unless you are literally making your full income off of it, I would say it's a waste of time. Yeah, and I guess the all of the plays and that show people like the edits or whatever, people comment like, oh, put edits in. Ah, well, the plays don't mean shit, but, and you've said that before. <laughs> For yeah, music, I mean, but, but to them though, to them, yeah. uh, obviously if they're putting the effort into editing and you know full income, the plays do matter. That is true. That is you true. Know. Oh but my god, there's even more. <gasps> over in the hyper sane. Oh, uh, they don't matter. Wow, you can actually edit your eyebrows on this. This is in beta. It's unbelievable. Oh my god, look. I guess nobody watched the social dilemma. That's you, please stop that. It's <laughs> stop not, that now. It's, look, it's over my fingers. It's magic. So for anybody, <laughs> for everybody uh, listening on Spotify or on you know any anchor, Alex messing with all the Zoom effects. He has a <laughs> halo over his head. Oh my! <laughs> and there's a thumbnail. <laughs> there's a thumbnail. Yeah, and buddy. A fake mustache yes. and some lipstick and, wait um, what is that dude this mustache is called the podcaster but it, you can't really see it because i actually do have a, I'm, I'm getting a little peach fuzz you know oh yeah <laughs> look at it wow that's actually going away under my finger anyways yeah i'm definitely gonna get that's some of this weird. what does this give I'm me sure they have a beard oh right? stencil look at this i can barely okay i see it <laughs> oh, oh, the circle, yeah, that's Dan. 
go to make my eyebrows bushier. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not even me. Wow. And you can, Oh no, definitely oh, don't man. apply to all future meetings. Um, I'm going to end up on an interview like, Oh yeah. You like this? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. This That's has gone wild. on way too long, but I'm going to keep the halo. Um, anyways, so yeah, uh, we're just going to turn that off. So I forget about it. Still don't have that one topic. So it's going to carry over again, but it's okay. It, I'll develop a formula for it eventually. Um, a I'm going to just go ahead. And, yeah. You know, thought formula. What does this formula entail? What variables? The topic. <laughs> <laughs> it, it entails outlining the topic all right so well uh joker's choice should be yours on uh, the first topic let's see uh let's see here what do we have i don't even remember what we have to be honest. all right well i can we can start with the, the last one which is uh, a nice phrase that I came up with. I'm sure people have said it before, so it's not original. I don't take credit for it. Well, I do. But if someone else has said it, then not trying to rain on your parade, even though it doesn't matter. I could storm on it. But um, yeah, uh, basically what I said is you are not going to get real being fake. You're not. <laughs> Unless people just want fake. <laughs> yeah. It's weird because. Well, but how would they know it's fake at that point? You wouldn't you just have to, I guess, have faith that it's not fake or it, I guess, or that, that it is fake, fake for them. <laughs> yeah. But, um, I think that's an interesting quote. I mean, obviously, as you can tell, Alec has a real goatee going right now and some real eyebrows. So Accentuated by my own. We get <laughs> hopefully we get some my own peach real fuzz feedback. Yeah. Hopefully it spices things up a bit. <laughs> right. Yeah. I just freaking stand. Um gotta go weird with a beard. Anyways, yeah, uh, that was a good quote you brought up. Um, I think that quote was brought up upon the lines of, uh, I think, the dating scene. You know, people try and do much more than <laughs> who they are to try and achieve a certain person or, you know, achieve a certain look so they can, uh, you know, impress rather than let let the let your natural self impress that uh other person and um it's funny because like we humans we naturally do that and we expect like the most real results and it's not real at all it's fake i mean because i mean you get it in, is you put it like garbage in garbage out fake in fake out so it's sort of like a um, it's insanity if you think you're going to get uh, real results by doing something fake, you know, and um, it's pretty sad that's where we are, you know, in uh, 2020, you know, people, and that actually brings up another, <laughs> another saying, the fake it till you make it, you know what I'm saying, that's, that just popped in my mind after um that quote like fake it till you make it that's the worst <laughs> is that like a is that a, a good quote is that something to really live by or <laughs> uh it shouldn't be in context of the quote you just said maybe <laughs> or... if like maybe only if it's temporary <laughs> like if you're legit living your life by that well then uh You'll probably never make it. But, um, 
I mean, it's pretty sad if you have to, like, if you're going that, if you, if you can't be yourself, if you can't be yourself in order to obtain this thing, that's already a red flag off rip. Yeah. And sort of is like a, a way of being like, yeah, this isn't for me. That's if you're going full fledged, full force at this thing. But I mm-hmm. mean, uh, that's an interesting saying. I mean, how many, how many things can you fake till you make it? Or what type of things can you fake till you make? I guess an appearance, a persona. Nothing good. I guess nothing small. But why would you even fake it? It's so unattainable. If it's so unattainable to where you Prob- have to fake. It's probably the same amount of effort to fake as it is to just figure it out. That's true. That's true. It just depends on whether you want to confront. Maybe it goes back to confrontation. Like, yeah, I don't know how to do this. Or ego. Probably goes back to both. Yeah. Confrontation and ego. Yeah, I don't want to say I don't know how to do it, so I'm going to just fake it. And... I don't want to say that I don't know how to do it because that's a confrontation, possibly a negative one. <laughs> that's true. But I usually mean, it's only negative if you wait so long. Then it's like, ah, uh, ha, ha. Yeah. That's true. That's very true. Yeah. I mean, but then you got stuff like, <laughs> you know, people who, let's say, cheat on a test or something they'll do all this crazy stuff just to freaking cheat you know what i'm saying like they'll they'll do the craziest things with all their effort and cheating where it's like you could have just learned it with that same effort like what's going on same you effort less dopamine <laughs> <laughs> way less dopamine the most addictive drug in mankind the lottery <laughs> i did it yeah. I cheated. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I can do anything I want. <laughs> oh, shit. Catch that one? No. Oh, all right. Oh, you can do anything. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to get that one in there. It was too nice. <laughs> Yeah, and he did too. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. You had to get that one out there, not in there. <laughs> it probably caught there. a slipstream. Anyways. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Well it's so uh, funny because he couldn't. Just real real talk. He couldn't do he couldn't do it. That's true. He could not. He was having issues. He was. His ego was killing him. Yeah. His <laughs> ego wasn't the only thing a limp. Uh. <laughs> Anyways. Um so yeah. That's an aside. Maybe we'll come back to it. But uh nah, I probably won't because spoiler, but um definitely wild. Yeah. Definitely wild. Uh, but yeah, not going yeah. to get real being fake. What was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, yeah, because it's like, like obviously, I think we've talked about before, like how we're against the, the online dating thing. Fine, kill us. But um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening. No, they're out of the game then. No, we're in the real game. Um but yeah, it's oh, like we're on, not even on those playing things. Game. We're just living true. Life. There, well, <laughs> there you know, is the, no game to be played. Game, not the actual games. Yeah, no, I know. But um, yeah, I don't. You're basically forced into being fake on there because I mean, people that are you know on there are obviously going to be influenced by what they see, and so. Mm-hmm. You know, they read the profile or the bio, whatever the hell you call it. And it's like, oh, you know, drop your best pickup line. It's like, dude, 
and then they're gonna do it say that but they would never open with that (laughs) yeah they just got prompted to do it so it's like hmm yeah maybe i'll give it a shot let me go look one up on the google and then they do and then they're not even yours yeah it's not i think another thing going on the uh dating websites topic where freaking really stunned me was how they have the height now as a as a, as a as filter a, yeah that's it like other a, people a choose caption. to put their height yeah you know what i'm saying and if you don't choose to put it that's bad you know necessarily like you could assume it's bad yeah where's the justice for the five six guys come on <laughs> i'm rooting for him <laughs> Really? <laughs> yeah, really? I don't know why you, you, you're trying to kill me. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to laugh. It. I really was coming out serious. <laughs> now Kumar's in laughing stock. Dang. It's all you five, Dang. six guys. I'm sorry. I'm no, so sorry. no, just how you said it. Like the justice, like it was some serious thing. <laughs> what? I just picked a number. Okay, the five, phrase. five, five, four, no, whatever. Justice. The justice. Oh, That's okay. what killed me. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> no but i'm like it's wild because uh you know what i'm saying like <laughs> we a chance. are we quick. back <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm back anyways <laughs> oh, shoot. but uh, i just thought that was interesting because you know obviously that's to a female's favor um height what is oh what? Because we want thing. them short. What if I don't? I'm trying to get me a six-five no, well, basketball player. <laughs> uh, nothing wrong with that, but yeah, there isn't. Email us if you know somebody under five foot six, or five foot six or under who has success. Just send us their name. We'll pray for them next time. No, we're not gonna pray for them. Probably <laughs> success. I'm joking. Yeah, they I will. Mean, we'll we're gonna root for them. Is like, what I meant. But. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. But um, I just think that's interesting, you know, because. Well, we're already w- rooting for them, definitely. actually. Just think of their name and then we're extending. I'm extending my angelicness onto them. Right. They'll do great. But um, I just think it's wild because obviously, you know, there's a stigma with shorter guys and, you know, attractiveness. Within you know what I think it comes from? Realm. Let's let's break right. it down. Let's break it down. Why why do females want taller guys? Do you know? I think it's like a masculinity thing. Uh, but a lot of them are against that now. Well, they don't. They want to look up to somebody rather than. I that's think they want to be dominated. Yeah, that's yeah. same thing. Oh, okay. I, if that's I, where you, I didn't know if that's what you were a, getting at or not. I guess like a bigger frame and that and then mean like big, but like, you know, somebody legitimately over them. So that sort of plays into domination, I guess. But uh <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. So it's like, are you gonna fake it? Are you gonna fake it your height? Oh or are you just gonna which obviously height has nothing to do with, you know, dominating somebody. I mean, I think that can be done through personality and. Yeah, a little bit. Other things, but. Uh, Half. Yeah, but. I mean, height's a weird thing. I'm only 5'3", so. <laughs> yes. No, I'm playing. Oh. I'm not five, well, I'm let's not all root for height. Kamari, okay? <laughs> I'm not five three. I'm kidding, but um, yeah. why is that a thing? Like, where did they even spawn from? Is that like a? I don't know. It's it's been made a fad. <laughs> I feel like it's like just I've a heard, big, large fad. Like I've heard like stories where um, you know, female is like, yeah, I had this this guy for you know same set amount of time and and we broke up and i mean we were the same height so it could never do that again and it was like 
you know, it was a longer time too. And it's like, I've heard that. Was it the height? You just, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Like what? <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. Like now all these online dating sites are, you know, I guess I, I say making it harder. For, I, you know, I get it. If you, yeah, it definitely makes it more difficult, but I, I don't know. Soon enough, they'll come out with a dating app that literally is for short people or for That's people fair. below a certain height. So then they'll be fine, right? Will they, though? No. I mean, low key, though, I could see that. Yeah, they could come out with anything. I mean, they've come out with like, uh, geez, what is there? There's one for like Southern people, there's a Christian one, there's. I mean, there's a lot of subcategories that probably I don't e- I haven't meet. even heard of. Oh, really? Yeah, you never heard of blackpeoplemeet.com? I feel like you may have mentioned it before. Don't, not me, the TV commercials. No, I haven't seen it on TV, oh, actually. Wow. That's wild. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. Anyways. Maybe they know. Um, they, <laughs> so you're seeing it, I'm not. just putting it out there (laughs) anyways wow they're really trying to split us up it's unbelievable anyways yeah blackpeoplemeet.com never heard of it it's wild yeah um yeah so yeah they might already have one for you know, smaller statured people. They pop, yeah, they probably do. <laughs> let's, let's, I kind of want to look it up. I actually, <laughs> I'm really intrigued <laughs> now because I guess. But then again, after like, he does that, Kamari to... about to sign up on the law. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> that boy five Waiting three out. about to finally get his woman. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> no, I'm the real Kamari's eight two. Kamari <laughs> two eight. Whoa now. <laughs> Careful. Yeah, they they don't have one. They don't have one. Best dating websites for short guys. Are you on the shorter side? Are you trying to find your perfect match on? That's why. See how they're coming in. With that? That's how they taught us to write in like fifth grade. They're like, yeah, you could write a question as a hook. It's brilliant. <laughs> You'll win the essays. <laughs> like they right. were a dang competition. Mm-hmm. So the top five sites, though, are eHarmony at 9.9. Yeah. That's the most match. I think you're the pay. Yeah, eHarmony match. Definitely, eHarmony is the most commercialized. Match is seems less commercialized, and Elite Singles is number oh, three. God, I've that's for like that people one. over a certain income, I think. And then uh, number four How is Short Passion. Elite. How does money make you elite? I'm sorry, it doesn't. Anyways, At continue. All. That's the ego thing. Number it four, uh, Short Passions. That's a ah, maybe that is one short pass. Oh, no, you know what that is? That's for hookups. Ah, a short, passionate experience. Mm -hmm. Gotta be. And then, uh... (laughs) continue. Zeus, Zeus, number. I've heard of that one actually. But that's now here's the explanations. If you're looking for a relationship that will last, eHarmony is one of the best options. Although they're not specifically for short people dating, they have so many members that there are probably more short you... people here than just yeah about any other site in the world. Yep. And on eHarmony one. and Match, you make like an extensive profile. Like you have to fill out, I mean, like a All whole types of stuff. Yeah. 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 Wait. So height. Yeah, and I don't even think you swipe on there. They just match you with people. And or well, only the people that come up on your feed have like a certain amount in common, which it 
which also is interesting because sometimes that does not work. Mm -hmm. People being the same. Actually, a lot of times. Sometimes it's interesting to have the opposite. Maybe not completely yeah. opposite, but enough. Obviously, a track. Yeah. If you... <laughs> and then protect. <laughs> <laughs> and then connect. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> uh. uh. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm sorry. I haven't heard of those memes in a while. Those but he protect, he attack, but most importantly, he connect. <laughs> and second most importantly, he sec. <laughs> and third most importantly, he got small neck. <laughs> oh man i'm sorry if you're not watching the video you need to pause and go to youtube and start watching the video from the beginning or like five minutes ago because it really got good um yeah so yeah hit up our youtube the hyper sane ones is the channel connect with brief us. intermission yeah <laughs> I had to. I had and to. we will protect. <laughs> Promised. <laughs> Anyways. So what were we even saying? Yeah. Just so about the major two. Oh, opposites. <laughs> like how yeah. you know you fill out these profiles and maybe they have updated the algorithms, you know, which you're binded by. But um I mean, honestly, just watch the Black Mirror episode on dating. That one that they had, Unreal. Do you remember that one with the dating app? Um, you basically... Dang, I'm trying to remember the premise of it. But it was really... Just the way that it ended, I was like, oh my god. All they were doing... Well, actually, I won't even... I won't spoil oh, it. But I vaguely remember. Oh, it was on it. season... It was on the most recent season... I forget what it was called. Maybe, yeah, if you can find the name, that would be great. Tell people to go watch it. Because Hang that... the DJ? Hang uh, the DJ. Is it? Oh, yeah. And they had to go... They had to go through all this stuff just to... Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yep. Right. And then in the end, you remember how it ended? It was just... Yeah, you had to... Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. And that was the... Yeah. Yep. Wow. Yep. Yeah, that I forgot about that one. Yeah, that one was a mind fuck. So, like, it, of of all the like a lot of the endings of those, you really don't expect. There were some, like one with the video game, and a couple others where it just jumps at the end, and you're like, oh shit, and then it's just over. <laughs> that one was crazy with the dating because yeah. it it just jumps back. At the very end, to the to the one scene, dang, I might it's watch over. that. I might watch that after. after yeah, this I might too. <laughs> At this <laughs> point, a good one. It was a really good one. I need to start rewatching those. Actually, Black Mirror, because a lot of them I've forgotten about. So, I yeah, think swear, not forgotten, but like enough to where like I think I could watch it again and get like the same, if not better, insight. So, yeah. Huh. Yeah. Dang, yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, yeah they need there's to have the one on social media like that. too. That's that's actually a good app. That like that idea was pretty nice because that that pretty much <laughs> that should be the standard low key. I mean, that's like the future of AI. I mean, <laughs> we will get there. I do not yeah. doubt it. We're probably already there unknowingly. At that but... point, you will never, never. This is what you have to think about as a consequence. You will never be able to go out no, and not meet like that. Especially during times like this, Corona and that, like they're, <laughs> I bet those apps are low key popping now. You know what I'm saying? Despite people still going out regardless, those apps are probably going stupid. Cause... Yeah, but it, it's, 
Just I more mean, time it's so open ended. Yeah, more time to waste. More time to waste time. Yeah. So that's all we do on Earth. Ah, uh, yeah. You just have to well, waste it well. Not not all of us, but most just waste it well. <laughs> Wise quote you know. today. But um, anyways, yeah. I, I, so there is no no uh, app for short shorter people, but in time, I'm sure they'll definitely incorporate one. Um, I'm sure someone's working on it. For sure. For sure. Anyways, um, I guess I'll move on to the next topic. Yeah. Uh, oh man. Not too, not too much good. Not too good. Well, we could. Uh, uh, yeah, all of these are low key repeats. We. Can... <laughs> I think we should we could hit the uh, the quote. Right. We could hit the quote real quick. So I've had there was a nice quote that I got this week. In my, I have an app that generates a quote each day. Some of them are, eh, but some of them, some of them are actually nice, relatable to this. So it says the, uh, this is from F. Scott Fitzgerald, I believe author, I believe he's an author. Uh, the ability to hold two, huh, if I can speak, the ability to hold two competing thoughts in one's mind and still be able to function is the mark of a superior mind. Yeah. Yeah. That's deep. You might. How about you give us a nice analysis on this quote? Give us some analytics. I mean, break it down for us. Give us too much to analyze. Um, I guess. I guess one of the easiest examples would just be like making a decision, like making a tough decision, or maybe just like theoreticizing a decision. And I mean, you have two polar opposite choices pretty much at the end of the day. And you ponder over them, like what could go if you went one way or, you know, what would happen if you went the other way, but you know, not letting that like tear you apart basically internally. Hmm. I wish I could think of a better one. I feel like there is two competing thoughts. I love you to hold two competing thoughts and still be able to function. I guess, I mean, it could go, go along with like a lot of ideologies just holding I mean, even more than two, because there are just holding, you know, not actually having an opinion, like a strong opinion, um, you know, in one direction on a certain subject and just being able to hold all the different possibilities in your head, toss them around, but not, you know, uh, hold any weight like specify one that you uh sort of jive with so like the ultimate level of neutral sort of i guess you could go that way gotcha yeah Yeah. i mean just competing thoughts i mean it could be could be anything anything they have uh, it's a competing thought like oh i think this but i also think that and still being able to function like through having those thoughts or just sort of by like brushing them off because i feel like it's not some you know like this like crisis or dilemma necessarily that you're dealing with it's just you know holding those two you know very different thoughts and then just sort of moving on still functioning I mean, I That's guess some true. people probably can do it. Yeah. So. Hmm. That's really tough. 
I actually don't have anything to say. So it's fair enough. Yeah. Um. Well, let's see if we can pull anything from these topics. <laughs> yeah, the third one. I is just a had an idea. Oh, I have one. So, uh, let's talk about you know childhood. You brought up an interesting thing yesterday uh, about the U.S. the or not the the French Open. Sorry about how uh, one of the players, her dad, that is like one of those types. <laughs> yeah. That sort of intrigued me because you were like, did it? Left it At the time, ended. all I got was ah. <laughs> <laughs> he came with an ah. <laughs> I was like, because so I was, right. was going to say something. I was going to say something, but I was like, I probably shouldn't say it. You know. Oh, you should have. I thought, I was like, wow. Well, it was nice explaining all that. <laughs> for nothing. No, no, I I actually <laughs> thought that was pretty intriguing for real. I just yeah. that's all I could think of at the time. No, I mean legit the the commentators were basically hinting at it. You know, just with all the things that they were saying. I mean, he got fined four times during the tournament for coaching, for actually coaching like during the match. Like he just couldn't keep his fucking mouth shut. So he wanted to win. <laughs> yeah, and play. I mean, she obviously like she's a great player and she just she seems like one of those ones that like you know this is women's so uh, you know not even to try and go there but you know she was she seems like one of those ones that like she was in the group and you're growing up just like that super try hard <laughs> that everyone hated because mm-hmm. she would you know that she could whoop your ass any mm-hmm. day of the week no matter what <laughs> but mm-hmm. you know she was just or but at the same time, like she would sort of just keep to herself. But like in the matches, you know, she'd be like, come on, and you know, whatever, just to you know, show that she was, you know, she cared. Really meant it. Yeah. Yeah. But but yeah, I mean Did geez, she end up we... winning? No, she lost. Yeah, because it was looking pretty bad. When I saw oh that. yeah. The the other girl. So yeah, she she was twenty one. Sophia Kennan, USA player, uh, American player, uh, played uh, Iga Swiatek, Polish player, and uh, the Polish player is nineteen. So she went through the whole draw, or she went through her draw the whole tournament, never dropping a set. It was the best two out of three wow. for women's. She won in straight sets every match. Actually, in the fourth round, she played the number one seed, the champion from last year, Simona Halep, beat her in two sets. It was like one and two, six one, six two. Like no, she, even that's less. who you were talking about. Yeah. Well, no, this was the final that I was talking about. But she, uh, Halep is. I forget what her nationality is, but she's the number one ranked player on the women's side right now. Or no, she's not, but she was in the tournament. She was the highest ranked player. So she got the one seed, but yeah, this, this 19 year old whooped her ass in the fourth round. No chance. Yikes. And I mean, the Kennan match, she gave her a couple more games, but it was one in four. I think it was six, one, six, four. After the first set, I was like, oh, my. Like, this so is about good. to be over quick. And I don't even know, like, I'm, I'm still learning and understanding stuff. But even then, I saw, I was like, that's when I texted the group. I was like, dang, America's just getting clapped, eh? Like, Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we have good players. They're just not. They're just in, like, that par. Or not even. They're in, like, the subpar level right now. And I mean, right. uh, it seems like a lot of them end up dealing with injuries. I would say the last really good American player that we had on the men's side, at least, was Roddick, who retired years ago. And then women, dang, who do we have? We had Lindsay Davenport. Jeez, even that was a while ago. She's been retired for for a long time. Who else? Serena. Venus. yes oh yeah serena serena venus i don't even think about it. they're so obvious 
right. even think it's like okay serena has how many titles and a venus even a couple as well i remember when she won when she was like pretty young i think at the u.s open i think beat mm-hmm. serena actually for it but because gotcha. for a couple of years it was just them in the finals she is it was like complete just just domination <laughs> so um yeah who else yeah a lot of, there's a lot less u.s women i feel like than men who were like closer to the top 20 because there's like what there's coco goff now and um uh who's he who's the player who's the other person Osaka. Oh, okay. Naomi Osaka. There's one other one, but she hasn't played for a little bit, so I can't remember. But but yeah. I mean, we're all right, but yeah, we haven't had like a, a real dominance, at least in the men's side for a while. Hmm. That's tough. Yeah. Anyways, going but, back to the <laughs> Yeah, to the coaching. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that just crazy how there's parents out there that's just literally trying to live through through their children. Legit. This dude didn't even play tennis. They said he just I didn't clout. know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he wanted Honestly. all the clout. And all he got was a plate. It's tough. And then going to the uh, mm, going to more fictional uh, example, uh, the boys. If you've watched that show, um, <laughs> one of their main characters' mother, Starlight, just her mother just put it. Uh, well, really, a lot of them were just, you know, gave, spoiler alert, you know, gave powers at birth and just their parents clearly wanted the clout and they wanted all the money and all the fame, but they had yep. to go through their children becoming super, super beings. And um, yeah, because it took well wild. with them. All right. Like the scenes, like yeah, we're gonna do this, and you've been training for this. I've sacrificed all my life for you to have this, and I told, you know, I was having dinner with such and such, and you know, their daughter's going to grad school, but I, I said, well, sorry, my daughter's in the seven, so, you know, what I'm saying stuff like that, where it's like, you did, you spent your whole life just to be like that, <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you have, did well i'll have you know my daughter no right yeah yeah those they wild. exist everywhere i knew a couple i would yell at them i think <laughs> i think i actually told a parent to shut up once during a match yeah because you know i was i had i had a little bit of, of tennis rage when i was younger but uh you know i would get pissed i'd i'd hit my racket on the ground whatever i would get point deductions but no, but there was a no. point at which i switched over and then it was the realization of all the shit that's really happening behind the scenes you know i played be like tournaments were actually paid to enter you know just like small usta tournaments and there was <laughs> there was this one there was this one kid, actually a German kid. He was German. And his dad was basically oh, like no. this girl's dad. Where, I mean, the kid was good. No doubt. But he had a shit attitude. And that was probably because he was getting abused. I mean, his dad was like, <laughs> bro, I will never forget, actually. It was the one time my dad took me to a tournament instead of my mom. And he's talking with this kid's dad. Kid's dad legit says to my dad verbatim. He's like, 
just in passing, like glosses over it as if it doesn't mean shit. My dad, that was the only thing that got extracted from the whole conversation. He was like, yeah, you wouldn't believe what he said to me. He was like, he was like, yeah, my he just has so many trophies. We don't know where to put all the new ones. I was like, it's <laughs> like, wow. That's like the I mean, ultimate. You have so many trophies. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. your son, he may as well have just said that. You know, he He's wanted to. Yeah, <laughs> your son's just Legit. a plaque on the wall. Yeah, he'll go on the shelf later. <laughs> He's yeah, got a fat really. eight-inch nail, just ready, corpse and all. Yeah. So That's wild. Yeah, and it was it, yeah. He'd be on the coach, like, or he'd be in the court, or you know, up to the side watching. I'd have to. It always sucked because of those tournaments, you know, it's not like the majors, you don't get an umpire for every match, it's sort of just playing your own. So sometimes you get a shitty call from, I mean, it could be you, it could be the other guy. Oh, come on. But, <laughs> One of those. Yeah. You end up in the net arguing about it. And then what I think is funny is like, all right, I'm going to call a line judge. So, you know, person who makes a shitty call, the other person calls the line, one of the line judges to come over and they just, they just watch play for like the next couple of points. Like that, that point is, is fucked. Like you're fucked on that point, but, but they come over and watch the next couple of points. And of course everything is fine. So then they just move on again to another court. So like, like this is so stupid. I think the only time that one of them ever caught anything after getting called over was the one came over and she acts like out of the blue, I, I think I actually jumped because she was just like, football. I was like, what? On a serve. Like I stepped over the line just a little bit, but she saw, she happened to see it. She was like, football, second serve. I was like, holy shit. All right. so, <laughs> out of nowhere. That's I don't even fault. know she was there watching. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your fault. Get out of here. <laughs> But uh, yeah, and then I mean, geez, like high school tennis. High school is the worst because we had coaches. Obviously, every team has coach, but they can't be everywhere at once. So then, some of the parents of the other, you know, teams that have the asshole kids on them. Of mm-hmm. course, they got their asshole parent with them, and then uh, you know they just start giving them a couple couple pointers. <laughs> And so uh, you have to be like, all right, yeah, we got to stop playing for a little bit. Hey, coach, <laughs> where you at? Yeah. <laughs> Come get, get this asshole Come out of get here. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even tell you how many times that it, it was always the same teams too. Every time it's like, do you not understand that we can hear you or like see, like we have eyes and there's nothing else we're going to focus on besides what the opponent is doing. He's getting right. coached by his parent. <laughs> Illegal. Not like it's going to help them, but it's annoying. Right. You know, there, it, it's, yeah. Yeah. And it never did help them. You know, <laughs> they just got screwed up because then their parent had to leave and then they didn't have, you know, their little mommy there to, to cheer them on. And right. Or really so out of luck. Get, put fear in them to win. So and then they were like, mm, finally, I can They're lose like, oh. in peace. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can be my real self. Not as good. Yeah, <laughs> that's tough. So, I mean, parents. I mean, just go out there and play it yourself. Yeah, do what you want to do. do. Not them. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Hair in my mouth. Anyways. Yikes. Yeah, I mean, that stuff, it never ends well. Because then you got this kid just not even want to do it because he wants to do it. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. it just becomes this whole thing where it's like, don't you want to do this? You're like, you don't want to lie. You don't want to <laughs> tell your, 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 your parents <laughs> no because you've been doing it so long. <laughs> so long. <laughs> what noise is that? You would tell your parents you've just been with it so long and born into it. That's the only reaction you could give when Alex nah, did. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah. 
<laughs> with the halo and all. Yeah. No, thick eyebrows. <laughs> and a goatee at eight years old. <laughs> Just... Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then it's like uh, low key. It's like you don't want to disobey your parents, but then it's just like, mm, yeah, no, just trying to have fun. Just trying to have fun, yeah. <laughs> Rather than have eight, but uh, yeah, um. That looks awfully realistic. I like this one. That's like the... Hey, look, I'm Ginger. That <laughs> Flanders. <laughs> oh, guys. Guys. Oh, I, wow, you can make it really, really light. Oh, this is some more, more of my color peach fuzz. Wow. Um, it's getting really off track. Oh, yes. Oh. Do they have like a full beard? Sadly, no. Uh, this is the most I can do. And even then, it looks like it's more extravagant. Or I can get the, the stencil. No, wait. Where's the one that goes up the side? Oh, does it not? Oh, this one does. There. goes all the way up the side. <laughs> all right. We'll keep that one for now. Ear. <laughs> okay. Wow, trying out <laughs> zoom filters. Yeah, I didn't know they added filters. I guess this is recent. I don't know why they added filters. Yep. Um, anyways, well, uh. <laughs> <laughs> What are we looking at? I think, I think that's about good. All right. Oh, you do? Unless yeah, maybe. Got more. I'm out. Of, I'm, I got nothing. It's pretty good. It actually moves with your eyebrows. Yeah. It's... Yeah. Oh, well, well, we uh, were clearly out of things to say, so. Uh, a little shorter volume, but happens. Hey, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was going to say something and then I lost it, so. Yeah, we're wild. there. We are there. Anyways, well, well, yeah. Um, hopefully, uh, you guys had a good week. You know, email us, comment down below on YouTube videos, hit us up on our Instagram page. Um, I mean, that being yeah. said. Uh, how you could do the oh. oh you're too late too late stay hyper short <laughs> sound like five two the volume the volume that oh. is oh okay <laughs>